Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a good question from my last video. I was asked, what wire size should I use when I install equipment? Installing the wrong size wire can cause a lot of problems on a boat, to the point where it could even catch on fire. Don't forget, this is a basic explanation. There's other things that could come into play. Here's a chart that you can use to see what wire size to install. At the bottom, with the red arrow, we see the length in feet of the wire. The longer the wire, the more resistance it'll have. And on the left, with the green arrow, it shows how many amperage your equipment is going to use. Now we see at the bottom the different wire gauge sizes. The lower the number goes, the bigger the wire is. Here's our first example of what wire to use on an electric engine. Here we have three different models. One will take 30 amps and the bigger one will take 50 amps. Okay, let's go back to the smaller engine where the max amp draw is 30. So since we know it's 30, we're gonna have to go to the row that says between 20 and 35 amps, where we see the red and green arrow. Now that we know how many amps, we need to know the length of our cable. Now, if the cable is 18 feet, we're gonna have to go to the column that says 16 to 19 feet. Now that we know the amps and the length of the wire, the chart shows that we're going to need an 8 gauge wire for this kind of equipment. Now we'll do the same exercise but with the bigger electric engine, which is a max amp draw of 50 for this example. So now that we know it's going to take a 50 max amp draw, we're going to have to go to the row where the green and red arrow is, where it says 50 to 65 amps. So since it's a bigger engine, probably because it's a bigger boat, so we're going to have to measure from the battery to the engine the length of the cable needed. So let's say from the battery to the engine, we'll need a wire of 21 feet. Then the chart will show us that we need a wire minimum of four gauge. Let's do one last example, this time with an anchor electric retriever. Here we see that the anchor retriever will take approximately eight to 10 amps. Since it can use 10 amps, we'll put it in the row of 10 to 15 amps. This is also installed in front of the boat, so Let's say the distance is 21 feet of wire. So here the chart shows us that we need to put a 10 gauge wire for this equipment. Putting a smaller wire than the recommended gauge wire can cause heat and fire on board. I recommend you do it right. Put the right size wires so you could enjoy the day on the water. I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.